Okay, so let's have a look at how you calculate sine, cos, and tan for angles greater than 90 degrees. So let's just um, just take a little step back first and just have a look at uh, let's have a look at our unit circle first. Um, a circle with radius um, one. So we saw before that if you take any point on the unit circle, we saw this in a previous video, this is x, y here, but you can rewrite that as um, cos theta sine theta, where this is your angle theta here, and the radius here is just one, one unit. So in other words, our coordinates around the circle here, this would be one zero, this would be zero one, this here would be minus one zero and this would be zero minus one. So in other words if you take the uh, the angle zero here and you take the sine or the cos of angle zero well the cos is just going to be one and the sine will be zero. If you take 90 degrees this angle here the cosine of 90 degrees will be zero and the sine of 90 degrees will be 1. Same here, if you come around here to pi or 180 degrees, the cosine will be minus 1 and the sine will be 0. Down here at 270 degrees or 3 pi over 2, the cos will be 0 and the sine will be minus 1. And the same goes for any point all the way around the circle here. So if you take we take another point, for example, here. Uh, again, we would have cos of whatever this angle is. Again, we call it theta, uh, sine theta. We'll call it theta 1 here because this is theta here. So this angle here, this angle here, we'll call it theta 1. Uh, the coordinates of this point here will be cos theta, sine theta. Now, when you look at the sine, cos, and tan of this angle here, uh, this is in the first quadrant. Theta is in the first quadrant here. The cos of theta is going to be positive because cos here will be on the positive axis out along here. In other words, you come out along this, this distance here, you come out along here, cos theta, so that distance there will be cos theta, and then you come up along here, sine theta. Both of those are on the positive axis. Co cosine is on the positive x-axis, sine is on the positive y-axis. So cos and sine will, be bo will both be positive here. And as a result then, because um, cos theta is positive, sine theta is positive, then tan theta tan theta, which is sine over cos, sine theta over cosine theta gives you tan theta. Because both of these, because both of these are positive, then tan will also be positive. Now if you come around to this um, blue angle here, this theta 1 here, in this particular case we've got, sin, we can find the sine, cos and tan of this angle here. Now the sine, the cosine, we look at the cosine first, the cosine of this angle, this blue angle theta 1 here, is going to be negative because in this particular case, in this particular case we've got to come out here, we've got to come out here to find the cosine, and this out here is negative. We're on the negative axis out here. If we come up along here for sine, we can see that it's positive. Here, sine is going to be positive because we're on the positive part of the y-axis, but cosine is going to be on the negative part of the x-axis, so cosine will be negative. So as a result then, because um, tan is sine over cos, we've seen that the sine will be positive, cosine will be negative, so positive or negative is negative, therefore tan in the second quadrant will be negative. So we have tan of our theta 1 will be positive for sine, uh, negative for cosine, and therefore our answer, our tan here, will be negative. We can do the same for the third and fourth quadrants here. 
let's just actually I might just redraw that because it's getting a bit busy up there so let's just go again so again we're just going to draw our circle and our <clears throat> y-axis our x-axis and let's just come down draw it in blue here we'll come down here so now we're going to look at this angle here so we'll call this I don't know let's say theta 3 but theta number 3 here so again our coordinates along here will be cos and sine so this would be cos theta 3 sine theta 3 so if you notice at this stage that you have you have to come out here for cosine I'm going to come out here for cosine the x coordinate here which is negative so our cosine is going to be negative we got to come down along here for sine so again that's on the negative part of the y-axis is down along here so sine will also be negative so cosine and sine are both going to be negative because we're on the negative part of the x-axis, the negative part of the y-axis. So cosine and sine are both negative here. And again, then from tan, we know that uh, tan theta, we'll say 3, is equal to sine theta 3 over cosine theta 3. We can see here that um, sine is going to be negative, cosine is going to be negative, so therefore our tan here, our tan is going to be positive in the third quadrant. Okay, so we go around again here to the fourth quadrant. Finally, here we've got, we call this, let's say, theta, we call this theta number four. So we've got cos uh, theta four and sine theta four here. So in this particular quadrant here, you can see that um, the cosine, which is the x coordinate, our x coordinate you have to come out here so that's going to be positive and our y coordinate is coming down along here so that's negative so in other words our x coordinate here if we go out the x-axis that's the positive part of the x-axis so cosine is going to be positive if we come down along here this is this, our sine and our sine is on the negative part of the y-axis therefore our sine will be negative so in this particular case when we work out so here we found that um, Co the cos of any angle down here will be positive and the sine of any angle in the fourth quadrant uh, will be negative. So therefore our tan, our tan of our theta 4 will be sine over cos. Our sine is negative, our cosine is positive, so therefore our tan in the fourth quadrant will be negative. Okay, so let's just move on from that. That was just a little bit of an introduction there. I just want to have a look at finding sine, cos, and tan of um, angles greater than uh, greater than 90 degrees. So if we draw our x and y axis here, and let's take this angle here. Let's say this is in our, well, it is in our second quadrant here. So this angle is in our second quadrant and it's 135 degrees, how do you find the sine, cos, and tan of, of that angle there? Okay, so what you need to do is have a look at this angle here between the line and the nearest x-axis, which is here. So we're going to call that um, our reference angle, and we'll call it, let's say, alpha here. So our reference angle then, this is called our reference angle, Our reference angle is alpha. So our reference angle in this particular case is going to be alpha, which is 45 degrees. What you'll find that is that if you find the sine, cos, and tan of 45 degrees, the reference angle, it will be the same numerically as the sine, cos, and tan of 135 degrees. Uh, so if we find, for example, the sine of 45 degrees, if you look that up, you'll find that it's just 1 over root 2. So that means the sine of 135 degrees is also 1 over root 2. Is also 1 over root 2. So the problem here is that we're not in the first quadrant, we're in the second quadrant. So we've got to go back to what we did earlier here. 
uh, just to see if this should be positive or negative. And what we know is that in the second quadrant, sine is positive. So this is our this is our answer for a sine of 135 degrees. If we look at the cosine of 135 degrees, we just find the cosine of 45 degrees. The cosine of 45 degrees, our reference angle, is 1 over root 2 as well. So the cosine of 135 degrees is in our second quadrant. We know that cosine in the second quadrant is negative, so this will be negative here. Also, we know that the tan of any angle in the second quadrant is negative. So the tan of 135 degrees is going to be the same as the tan of 45 degrees, which is 1. But because we're in the second quadrant, this is going to be negative here. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. Just find your reference angle. Find the angle that the line makes with the nearest x-axis. That's called your reference angle. Find the sine, cos, and tan of that particular angle. And then just figure out, uh, should the sine, cos, and tan in that particular quadrant be positive or negative? So let's have a look at another one, maybe in the third quadrant this time. So we're going to draw, um, again, our x-axis and y-axis. And this time we'll come down here to the third quadrant. So we're going to look at this angle here. Now let's say in this particular case, uh, let's use 240 degrees. So our angle that we want to find the sine, cos, and tan of is 240 degrees. So what's our reference angle this time? So our reference angle is going to be here. It's the angle that the line makes with the nearest x-axis. So in this particular case, it's just going to be 240 degrees minus 180 degrees. So that's just going to be 60 degrees. So our, our reference angle alpha is 60 degrees. This is what we've got to find the sine, cos, and tan of. So let's do that. We've got to find the sine, let's say the sine of 240 degrees, which is going to be the same as the sine of 60 degrees, numerically speaking anyway. So the sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. You've now got to figure out which quadrant you're in. We're in the, thir in the third quadrant. And we know that sine is negative in the third quadrant. So this is going to be minus root 3 over 2 in this case. So remember, they're all positive here. Only sine is positive here. Tan is pos only the only one positive here. And cos is the only one positive here in the fourth quadrant. So let's look at cosine then. The cosine of 240 degrees is going to be the same as the cosine of our reference angle, 60 degrees. Our reference angle, uh, sine of 60 degrees. So the cosine of 240 degrees is going to be the same, numerically speaking, as the cosine of 60 degrees. The cosine of 60 degrees, cosine of 60 degrees is a half. Now again, we're in the second quad. We're sorry, we're in the third quadrant. So we know that cosine is negative in the third quadrant. So our answer is minus a half here. And then finally, tan, the tan of 240 degrees is going to be the same as our ta the tan of our reference angle here, the tan of 60 degrees. The tan of 60 degrees is root 3. Tan of 60 degrees is root 3. So in, our, in the third quadrant, we can see that the tan is positive. So we just leave this positive here. Okay, so let's have a look at one more. We'll have a look at the fourth quadrant. So... Um, Again, we'll just draw our x and y axis here. And we're going to look at an angle down here. Uh, so this is our angle down here. And this time we're going to look at, let's say, 315 degrees. 315 degrees. So our reference angle, again, is this angle here. So this is going to be... 45 degrees. So our alpha in this particular case, our reference angle is 45 degrees. So we need to find a sine, cos, and tan of 45 degrees in order to find a sine, cos, and tan of 315 degrees. So the sine of 315 degrees is going to be the sine of 45 degrees. So the sine of 45 degrees is 1 over the square root of 2. Remember again, they're all positive here, only sine is positive here. Tan is positive here, and cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. 
So sine is negative in the fourth quadrant, so we just put a minus in front of that. Cos of 315 degrees, well that's the same as the cosine of 45 degrees, and the cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2. And because we're in the fourth quadrant, this is going to be positive here. So we can just <clears throat> leave that out or just put a plus there in front of it. Okay, so the tan then of 315 degrees is 1, because the tan of 45 is 1. We are in the fourth quadrant, so tan is negative, so it's actually minus 1 here. Okay, so that's all you've really got to do. All you've got to do is find the sine, cos, and tan of your reference angle, which is the angle the line makes with the nearest x-axis. That will give you the sine, cos, tan of the angle that you are looking for and then decide whether the sine, cos, and or tan should be positive or negative, depending on which quadrant it's in.